Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg again with another unboxing. This time it's a Barnes & Noble Nook. This is their ebook reader which uses an e-ink display along with a color LCD display. This is actually my first Android device as well because this runs on the Android platform. Before I cut this open, let's just take a look around the box. We see a picture of the front of the Nook on the front and the back of the Nook on the back. Of course the side of the Nook on the side some of the information we have model number BNR V100 designed by Barnes & Noble assembled in China so let's go ahead and crack this open so in order to open this I'm just going to bend this a little bit like that pop it up like this and there's the ebook now I should just note that there's a piece of foam inside the top cover to keep it protected another little compartment here with some of the accessories so we have a little small wall charger, USB wall charger and we have a little cable, the USB cable so it looks like the Nook is just sitting in this foam cradle with some manuals underneath, I'm just going to set this aside, we're going to take a look what's here so please read me first, welcome to your Nook, quick start guy, getting started made easy Got this big fold out instruction manual, at side two we can see that the Nook actually comes out of the package already with something on the display because it's e-ink it doesn't use any power to hold a display it only needs power to change it now it's instructing me to fully charge before first use and click the button on the top to power me up so there's this little chrome button on the top if we hold down it will turn on of course we have the LCD display down here and it wants us to remove the tab so let's go ahead and do that this is a 3.5 inch capacitive touchscreen which helps you to navigate the e-ink display. It also contains the keyboard and other functions. So this is somewhat similar to using an iPhone or an iPod Touch. On both sides we have some directional buttons. These are basically page turning buttons. On the back is a white panel. If you have the 3G version this would be dark graphite in color. And the material is actually sort of rubberized plastic, so it has a nice grippable texture to it. And you can see there's actually some um, rails along the side to hold on to. On the bottom we have the speakers along with a headphone jack and the micro USB port. And I also wanted to point out that when you're charging your Nook, a little light is displayed. And if you look on the side, there's this relief point so that when you press down these page turn buttons, it flexes a little bit. But there's actually no physical separation between the buttons. It's one continuous piece of plastic. It's the same on this side as well. Now the back panel of the Nook is removable. I believe the best way to pop this off is to use this little tab here near the micro USB port and pry it off. So there we go, we have the battery and the micro SD card slot. To get to the micro SD card slot, just stick your finger under here and lift it up and slide it in and close it back down. I don't actually have one to show you, but there you go. It does have two gigabytes of internal storage, so I don't anticipate needing this. And of course, to replace the battery, you just need to unscrew it and release it. Now let's just take a look at the uh, back of the device without the cover on. Again, you see the button up here. These sort of decorative fasteners here. There you go. So let's put the cover back on. go. Okay, it's telling me that your device is starting up. Welcome to your Nook. Okay, so it wants me to connect to a local Wi-Fi hotspot, so let me go to that. Okay, found my wireless router, so let me tap on that. There's my time capsule, WPA2. So let's go to connect. And I'm going to have to enter my password. And I'm connected. It wants me to register my Nook with a Barnes & Noble account, which I haven't done yet. So I'm going to do that off camera. 
Just like Amazon's Kindle, the Nook uses a 6-inch Visiplex e-ink display. Now e-ink uses a capsule technology instead of a pixel technology like an LCD panel. And since e-ink is not backlit, it is less fatiguing on the eyes to read. And there tends to be a higher pixel density over LCD panels of this size. Unfortunately, if you want to read in low light conditions, you do need to light the Nook from another source. So unlike an iPad which is backlit, you'll need to provide your own light. Now let's take a look at the navigation system on the Nook. The Nook has a little home button here that when you tap it, it invokes the menu system here, which is a row of colorful icons that lead to various functions of the Nook. The daily, so if you bring up the daily, you get sort of a uh, RSS feed from Barnes and Noble. And the display itself has these controls here, so this allows you to select down to the uh, selection you want. And when you click here, it selects it for you. Now, if you want to go back, you just tap the N again, which is the home key, and we can go to My Library. So here we have a listing of items in my current library, including the book I'm reading right now, which is Evolution by Stephen Baxter. Uh, we got some other books that came with the Nook, such as Dracula, A Vintage Affair, I have a sample of the passage, a book I'm going to read next, Pride and Prejudice, and Little Women. So you can get some free materials from the Nook as well. And of course you use these arrows to make your selection. So if I want to go to Dracula, I just select Dracula and press the key. So it's opening the book right now. And there we go. So let me go back to Evolution. Click Evolution. In Evolution I do have some bookmarks. So I go to Bookmarks. I can go to my bookmark. Page 100. That's my last book, and I don't like that font size, so let me go back to large. And of course you can make it extra small. That's one of the benefits of e-ink is the high resolution, so let's go to extra small. So you can read uh, small text very clearly. So let me just zoom up on that and you can see what I'm talking about. So you can barely make out the uh, capsules or the pixels of the e-ink display. Again, you can see it's quite small. If you look at my thumb right there, you can see just how small it is. So it's uh, very readable. And another thing you'll notice is there's very little reflection. It's a matte sort of plastic screen. Uh, and there's no uh, distance between the glass and the display itself. So there's none of that refraction you get with an LCD panel. Okay, let's go to shop, and this will bring us to the BNN store. And we have some categories to search, including ebooks, magazines, newspapers, top 100, new releases, ebooks under $5, etc., etc. But if you want to skip all that and just do a search, just tap the search option here. And I'm going to search for The Road by Cormac McCarthy. And there we go. I see the road, 799 Cormac McCarthy. Of course, the LCD display shows me the cover page in full color. And I can get a free sample. I can view the overview or add to my wish list. If I want to buy for 799, I'm just going to select there. And it wants me to confirm my purchase, which I'm not going to do right now. And I would just select buy now. Now let's go to reading now. So once again, this is where I left off with evolution. And I can go to my bookmarks, I can change my font, look up a word, etc. Now it's actually on page 105, so all I have to do is click these buttons here to get to page 105. Or, when this display is off, I can actually use this to navigate. So if I just swipe back, it will basically turn the page, and that's the next page. Or I can swipe the other way, and it will turn the page back again. Let's go back home. And let's go to games. And we have two games here, Sudoku and Chess. Let's click Chess. So here we have a chess game. So I can play against the Nook. I guess you would use this to tap. There you go, so the Nook moved its piece. Now audio is a neat feature. Unfortunately, I don't have any music loaded on here, but if you had audio on here, you could play it at the same time while reading the book. 
and it will play either through your headphones or the small mono speaker on the bottom of the Nook itself. And basically you add music by connecting the USB cable that was included with the Nook to your computer and just drag and drop the files to the music folder on your Nook. And of course you have some of the controls here for play, fast forward, volume, again it's a slider, and we also have the scrubber, and we have a shuffle key, and we go back to the list. Of course there's no music there to look at. So let's go back home. And let's go to web. Now the Nook has a rudimentary web browser. It's kind of interesting to use. I'm not sure how useful it is. But in order to go to a web page, all you have to do is type this go to key right here. And we can select web page here. And I can see the last uh, web page I entered here. And I'm just going to leave that in. You could type in something else. But it's loading it right now. This happens to be the iMac page from Apple. And you can see it's actually rendered the page in the e-ink display up here. And down here is actually the navigation system, so if you want to pan up, all you have to do is scroll here, and it will actually scroll down the web page. So it's kind of interesting. Again, if you want to tap a link in here, let me find the link. Just tap, let's go to buy now. You can see a little uh, icon turning, telling me that it's loading the page. And you can scroll around here. Of course, you get a larger view here. Anyway, it's not very fast, but you get the idea. So if you really want to use it, you certainly could. And of course you also have the settings key here, which does reveal private information, so I'm not going to bring that up. But that allows you to change things like the amount of time it takes before your LCD times out or before the Nook goes to sleep. Now all you have to do to put the Nook to sleep is press the power key up here, and it goes to sleep. And of course it leaves this image on, you can change what image is displayed, you can put your own photos on here, that sort of thing. And of course to wake it up, all you have to do is tap the key up here, and you're back in business. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a quick look at the Barnes & Noble Nook. Thanks for watching.